Hello and welcome back to Escape from Mars in Space Engineers. And I did say I was going to mine ice off camera, which I completely forgot. And here I am clicking record. And I'm not going to redo this. So here we go. Let's go and get some ice. <laughs> completely forgot about that I, I did say i was going to do it off camera uh, yeah here we are let's go and get some ice as i said once we have that and have dropped that off what i want to do is to do a bit of a test with um hmm. there we go um test to see if um the rocket is airtight or not that's one thing i want to test another thing i want to test is if i have enough lifting thrust so is the four thrusters that's going to get me off the planet enough to actually get me off the planet not sure maybe it is maybe it isn't we are going to have to find out so now we are going to get as much ice as we can get so we can fill up the tanks on the rocket and prepare for the takeoff so for the time being, I don't think there's a lot of things left to do. Like I can do while this is. Processing, so I think it's just testing. Air tightness and the thrusters and that's it and then we can leave. Yeah, I think that's it. So, let's get this hooked up. And get the ice processed. I might need to get a few more loads. On the basis that one load got it up to was it like 19.6 percent so less than a fifth of the tank tanks got filled which is okay for like the load of ice we got but oops O2 generator. Let's fill this up completely. See what we can do to. There we go. Now we can disconnect. So. It doesn't have any storage, like any cog containers in here. So.
can't really shuffle them in like that. Which is fine. Um, what we need to do in here is... Let's take a look. At the tanks. Yep, they're filling up. Okay, so let's go through the inside. Let's close these. Let's go through the inside and see. Check all of these corners. Sadly, I don't think that's... Yeah, I don't think this is airtight. But let's, um... Where do we... Where did we put the, the vent? Here it is. Thankfully, I have... Uh, a very lovely mod which makes it which is build info makes it easy to f easier rather to find oh it's um okay there are no air leaks. So this is fully pressurized. We open the helmet. We're fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Good to know. So. With that. We... Yeah, we uh, we have a fully pressurized rocket. So we can take our helmet off. We can open a visor and uh, yeah. Okay. With that done. And a lot of air just disappearing because we opened the door. Okay, that that's now tested and done what i need to do then is the next step really that is go from here and not use that block because it's not correct it's not not a full block uh, just in case and then we find one of you put it Closer to the ground. And it's not close enough. So, one more. And that's too far. Of course. Um... Okay, um, can we put it... Here. Nope. Okay. If we bring it this way, I 
think we should be getting closer to yep so close we're inside okay and that's still flipping the ground that should probably work maybe worst case scenario i need to build up a bit but yeah that should work so what we can do is oh, save and pray okay it worked as i suspected but oh, you never know you never know so uh, that's not going to come with me later however it is now i can I can actually move that as well. You should be fine. Oh my god. Oh. Apologize. I wasn't really expecting that double sneeze, but <clears throat> okay that's done hopefully there's no more of them As I press V, nothing happens. Hmm. What? Is this off or something? Nope. Or is it just the angle making it? Uh, could be could be anyway the thrusters are off now is there any hidden ones nope that's all the thrusters okay good Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. As I suspected it was going to be. But here we... Here we are. If I press forward, I should be going straight up. So... Switch lock and groups toggle on off. Now yeah, let's go in and here turn off auto lock and not use P because. Oh. Okay. All of them works. Good to know. 
let's save and unlock oh I uh, right oh it's always so scary to convert to ship you never know yeah I, I can lift quite comfortably this monstrosity yep that's fine ready to lock lock turn off good don't burn any more fuel how much fuel did that test burn basically nothing good to know okay so we're ready to go we we are basically ready to go any any time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and get one more load of ice which i probably have parked this but didn't so let's go and get one more load of ice get it loaded up in the rocket and then we will remove the extension once we are ready and um then we will do a flyby of the head Corp headquarters with uh, the fighter I think this, um, yeah, this episode is going to be the last one, more or less guaranteed. And I'm leaning towards making Jacob headquarters the burial site of my fighter. So let's see, we are almost completely full. There we go. That's more or less exactly full. Boom! All of a sudden we can actually see something. Because we turned the lights on. <laughs> This spot spotlight mod is so good. It actually makes the spotlights you spotlights useful <laughs> and have a purpose other than regular lights. Because yeah, spotlights and like normal space engineers unmodded spotlights really doesn't do anything. It, reach the pathetic distance not enough to be useful to be honest boom 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 don't have the recharge on don't want to drain the batteries in the rocket and Ship. Let's fill this up as much as possible. Connector. Yep, there we go. That's absolutely full.
Drift. Ding. See, did I actually turn full off charge locked? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Um, let's see. Before we actually go and do silly stuff. Um, is there anything left here to do? How is the, um, recharge on? The batteries. They are... Fully charged? Yeah. Fully recharged in minus one minute. So... Fully recharged in an hour, an hour. Yeah, one battery is absolutely full and two, the other two is like 80% full-ish. Anyway. All right, that's what I wanted to do. Do this one. The components. That's the clay side, so it's the correct one. There we go. Should be able to tear this down. Maybe I'll just keep it and cut it loose. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's just cut it loose and watch watch it tumble later. Did that in an incorrect order, but whatever. Let's go and check out the G Corp headquarters. Now I'm going to cheat myself some daylight because usually easier to. See uh, when there's a bunch of light. One might think that the uh, human eye is adapted to perceiving light instead of darkness. Here we go. That's the correct way to go. That's where we're going. It's big G. That's the way. And if I die, I die. I don't care. <laughs> oh, this is such a silly thing to do. And if it, this episode extends a bit... Whatever, it's the finale. I'm going to make this the last one. I'm not sure what to do after this. I really haven't thought about it. I have some ideas, but we'll see. Anyway, how far away am I? still like it's a large building like it looks like we're getting close but it's such a large building it's actually really large
And then you have these ones. Like bunkers. How far out am I? Three kilometers ish. Yeah, let's go in and um, get ourselves some daylight. There we go. Convoy dispatched. Delivery exercise. Oh right, there's these ones as well. Oh, that's such a nasty ve vehicle. Let's see how um, long we survive by going through here. I suspect not long. Still fly. <laughs> but I don't have any guns left. <laughs> oh. But yeah, this is why you have the cockpit so far back because, yeah, if you want to survive something, you shouldn't have it. Close. And since I have so many thrusters on the back, it means... BOOM! <laughs> oh. And this place... Oh, I didn't... That's a bit annoying. This is what the, this was the the closest spot to. Okay. Anyway, a bit of stupid fun if we um, go in. Spectator. Oops. take a look at what we let's inspect the damage we did i suspect we didn't do a lot of damage uh... and yeah there's the rocket apparently we did a fair chunk of damage To the building, but that's about it. And quite a bit to the rocket as well, which... Yeah. This is a beast to try to take on. And under here we have uh, interior turrets. A lot of them. see what did we have left here a bunch of eyes cockpit yeah <laughs> take a screenshot of that I think that's a that's a good image for a thumbnail or something. But yeah, there's so many defenses. Like these. These. And there's a lot of them. 
one over there. There's a vehicle over there. Yeah, that, that's a lot of defenses during, like, around. And also on the G Corp headquarters. But anyway. Let's um, do... Some teleporting, because, I mean, that was just some stupid fun. So here we are, back, magically appearing. Just in case, let's take one of each tool. A bottle of each. And there we go. So. Yeah. Body location. I'm not going to get that. I don't think there's going to be an easy recovery. So. What I'm going to do is check to see how the ice processing is going oh two oh, it's going fine let's move the ice in here so we don't get a nice explosion oh, let's remove this Once this is fixed and done, we will uh, we will leave. And we are leaving everything behind. it should be fully recharged let's cut this loose <laughs> and once we have the ship I think what, well, what I will do is turn these on and disconnect. why not 
careful so we don't cook ourselves. Let's go in. Let's get situated. Situated in the cockpit. And um, get off this bloody planet. But before that, let's turn on the med bay down here. Because that might be... Um, that might be a good thing to have on. Adios. Sayonara. Goodbye. Whatever you want to say. We are leaving. Very inefficient burn, but I don't care. Oh, that's a good picture. Ooh. They're getting off this planet. Finally! FUG Core! <laughs> I'm picturing myself like leaning out the window and giving them the finger. <laughs> or, or rather, leaning out the airlock and uh, giving them the finger as, as we we'll leave. Let's um, see here. We still have a lot of planetary gravity. Which way? Wait a second. Did I turn? I did turn that off, right? Because it was technically speaking not necessary. Communication satellite show on hard. Wait a freaking second. You know what I um, forgot to put on this? Oh my god. A gyroscope. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's go out into space. Just... actually in space and not in gravity. Going to take a bit of time to get out of it, but... Oh my... God. How did I forget that? I usually never forget the gyroscope. Never. <gasps> oh. What? 
there's always a first for something or for everything uh. yep no gyroscope i was wondering why it was hot so hard to change direction which now makes sense actually we have loads of hydrogen storage so we don't have to worry i don't even i don't have to be efficient about it even just need to burn and not worry about anything usually what you should do is um actually do um thrust override and control how much the um, hydrogen thrusters burn so that you don't burn unnecessary because technically speaking I'm, I'm doing a full burn now which isn't needed because we're the gravity is so low so we could probably get away with the smallest amount of thrust but meh I don't care I don't remember when the gravity of Mars disappears and dissipates enough that you're considered as in space. Might be like 30k. I think. going to be a bit of a long episode but it's final it's the final episode so my muppetry is going to be extended a bit further because i'm going to have to go back in my jetpack or cheat myself down there and get the parts for a gyroscope gyroscope because i need one I want to be able to get the objective. I need one. Thirty-three. We should be in space soon, considering how low the gravity is, and that the fact that we're seeing asteroids. Though that doesn't mean we, they are in space. They, might not come on la, 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 la. it takes a bit of time to actually leave the influence of of the planet which makes sense, but yeah. Considering you can only go 100 meters a second, it's a bit too slow. Forty k. Maybe that's what it is. It's like forty. Yeah, forty. Here we go. Let's break. And stop. We're now a complete stop. And because don't think I have a beacon on this, we are going to need um, a GPS. To be able to get back.
we traveled very straight which can be hard to do but yeah considering the fact that we um didn't have um didn't have um now i think what i'm going to do is um there's no way i'm going to do that um what i'm going to do is um cheat and teleport myself down here um let's see what i need is that i just need one and i probably can't get all of it all the stuff I need. Okay. Let's, um... Um, where do we put this? Ooh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Put the resources away for a bit. then pick them up again that's a lot of grid grids that is needed however not going to have any issues getting all of that thankfully but we're going to have to do a few trips like this, which is unfortunate. That's all of it. And let's get back up again. <laughs> it's a bit, it, it's silly. It, it's really silly. I should not have uh, missed that. Even if I... Um, cheat myself by teleporting and still taking time and now we can actually point the rocket where we want it to go I never put um Um, a gravity generator on this which is um, something that I probably should have done but yeah now we can actually move around which uh, means that we can get the get to the communications satellite so As we move, what have we accomplished with this? Serious in space engineers in this scenario. Well, we have survived on our own with very limited resources and um, an update to the combat system, which 
arguably made it harder actually because the weapons suck now in comparison to what it what they did before they're more interesting now but not as good uh, so they i think they per shot do a bit more damage than they did before but the fire rate is and the recoil on some of them is just a bit small but whatever i i digress uh and yeah we uh built whatever we needed to be able to get around and take on the world around us apart from the head Jacob headquarters because that just decimated us and um actually got a rocket off the planet though we got we forgot about the gyroscope which meant that we couldn't really point it in the way we wanted to so we had to cheat it in a bit but whatever it's what it is i should have remembered um i could have like gone down in my suit and go, gone back up again but that would have just taken way too long which would have would not have been fun to watch so i cheated teleported myself back and forth instead which um saved a bit of time and was a lot less annoying to watch let's be real and the question is where do we go from here once we are finished well i'm not sure to be honest probably not more space engineers unless i can come up with some idea of doing it if you have some ideas by all means. You have successfully escaped the Martian gravity well. No pursuit detected. Oh, Mabel, we haven't heard from you in a while. I like hearing your voice. Communications satellite. Yeah, so, um don't think i'm going to do I'm not sure how the the war like the warfare 2 update is going to change things either so we'll see might if i come up with an idea which is interesting and i can do it well then yeah maybe it will be some more space engineers but for now probably not I have some ideas for some other, some other games to play. I really dislike back the whole ah oh, you have to play one game otherwise you can't grow on YouTube. Like whatever. Play whatever I want. If you want to watch, watch. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. Let's see. Getting closer. Just in case. There's some turrets. I will park. 1.2 kilometers away ish. And go in my suit. Here we go. And I will store. This in here. So I'm not losing that because I don't have anything else. Oh. Please stop. Magnet boots can be a bit annoying at times. Let's see. There it is. Not sure why it shot. Hmm. 
Hmm. Transmitting data on all frequencies. Scenario is complete. It is recommended to remove... Yeah. So... You can continue playing. But... We are calling it here. G Corp Organics not welcome. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> of course. Of course. G Corp. The interior turret is G Corp. <laughs> uh. Yep. But anyway, let's um go out in a place of glory. Not sure why that text is stuck on the screen, but whatever. We can remove it by removing the HUD. All technologies unlocked. Yeah, so once you actually get to this point, you unlock uh, basic assembler and uh, refinery and all of that that was previously not possible to make but as i said we are going to leave it here this is the end of this lovely scenario If we turn on, so we can actually see where we are. Scrolling a bit too fast. Sorry about that. And here is the rocket. Let's... Have me get into my body and move around a bit. And yeah. So. I think. We are going to call it here. And by waving goodbye, all that I ask of you is that you like the video. That would be super awesome and nice if you did. And with that, we are going to leave here by saying thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.